Hello. Hello there. I thought I'd tell you about the Tom Patterson collection. It's a brilliant book. I really recommend it. It's coming out on the in later on in the 22nd of November. You can get it on Amazon or at the Rebellion uh, website. But oh wow, we can't believe this book has come out. It, it is just amazing. And he so deserves it. He's done a new cover for the book and he's put all these characters which are inside the book. <laughs> I'm sure people of the 80s and 70s would know him, his style. And also in the 90s, he did Calamity James and he even did a Dennis the Menace and the Men in the Minx for a bit as well. But he's known, best known for Sweeney Todder and Calamity James. But this is his Fleetway uh, comic work. Um, so there's more Sweeney Toddler, um, Strange Hill School. Um, so not, lots of different ones. So let's open the book. The lovely Strange Hill characters running, charging. <laughs> and inside the book, I got Buster, which he did for the front cover. Um, Captain Crucial, Lucy Lastic, uh, the craziest characters, which I really think they should bring back. That's a, a different uh, character and setting on the centre pages of Buster. And it was such a brilliant idea because it meant you could do something new each time, and he was really good at that. And with the new um, Monster Fun coming coming out in Easter, maybe you could bring back that idea of uh, it was called uh, the craziest characters and so he came up with captain crucial which he did a few times um lucy elastic what's good about this book is because the they're center pages you can actually read them because <laughs> it's got this gutter on the the book so you can open it wide so you can Read the reader easily. Uh, let's have a look. And they came up with one off like sports fright. He did this, um, he had lots of different styles. We, we call this the Robert Crumb style, it's in more inky, um, more texture. Um, he came up with a Monty's mute, mute, mutant mutt. <laughs> but sadly, it was a short series, the center pages. But I was, uh, and this uh, stupid street with um, Tom Patterson. It, it was taken over by Mark um, Bennington, who was the writer. And he's a very good writer. He very goon show type humor. And, and it was, it was perfect for Tom Patterson. And he really you can see he really enjoyed it um anyway he did um in this book it's got buster this is his first uh, one he did so he started off a bit tamer because he was taken over from reg parlot who i have to admit was my favorite buster artist but that's because i was more in that era for the early 80s um but but there's some really good humor in it <laughs> very zany characters um, and, uh, I love on the fisherman's back it says save the kipper so you, it's always worth rereading his comic work and there's much more detail he says he was very inspired by Ken Reed of course Leo Baxendale and but also he said George Martin which was interesting so he also liked the slapstick um, which George Martin did in Greedy Pig and things like that for the dandy. Um, so it's starting to change to more Tom Patterson. This is the wedding, the royal wedding. So you capture um, the era as well, the 80s, in this book. He loved doing uh, creepy. Uh, characters he loves to do lots of black ink. Um, 
which we'll show you later in Strange Hill. Um, but there's a brilliant colorist who works with him on Buster and look at the shading um, on the walls. And he, he, he really brought the covers to life. And I love this kind of, um, it was really striking, the covers. And what else we got? Let's move on. So this is uh, another character he did, Kojak for Buster. So if you know Kojak from the seventies, uh, this is Kojak, <laughs> and he's sucking his. He's got a lollipop, of course. It's just what Kojak in the TV series did. Um, but in the seventies, he had this very detailed um, drawing. Um, type of work. He did that in Jackpot comic as well. Uh, this is School Fun. Uh, uh, sorry. It, a comic School Fun, School Bell. Uh, so he did a female character. Um, but this is, I've actually got my name in the book, which with Blue Stringer. That, so that was very exciting. <laughs> um, and I, I like the um, picture that goes with it, um, saying a super heroes are my favourite. <laughs> and I, I, this is what I wrote: um, Peter Gray, artist and originator of the Tom Patterson fan site on Facebook. Tom Patterson deserves this book. His cartoony art stood out in a comic, and no wonder he got the covers and centre pages. Every panel is filled to the brim with humorous, silly fun and crazy descriptive words. His work surprises you and makes you laugh out loud, seeing new things each time you read it. A brilliant body of work. Tom Patterson is a close second to Leo Baxendale, and you can't get any higher praise than that. And when you we get to Sweeney Toddler, um, which this is a classic cover, um, it was like 2000 AD, <laughs> done with Sweeney Toddler. And Graham Exton uh, started writing Sweeney Toddler at this time, and it was a really good combination. Uh, but uh, Leo Baxendale actually came up with Sweeney Toddler and was doing the character and then sadly he left comics to pursue um, self publishing of his own books but um, Tom Patterson took over um, first of all doing it kind of like Leo and then coming up with his own unique style and he boy he, he, I think he's really toddlers are even better personally um, but Leo Baxter will still be my favourite comic artist, but Tom Patton very close second. Um, and, but it, it's just, I really recommend this book. Um, <laughs> you get amazing images like this. <laughs> that was in the centre pages. We we're, were wondering whether it might have been a front cover, but maybe it was a bit too much for the cover. <laughs> To show Father Christmas eating Sweeney toddler. <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, so I was, I'm very excited to be up and written in the book as well. Um, so, he did lots of different characters, teammates for WoW. So, there's lots of nostalgia for me. Um, but what's nice about this, it's got. Um, a, a one-off character called Dal Twit for Twit, and that was in the core holiday special, so it's a one-off. We like doing spies. We also got a core annual Fins, Fiends and Neighbours. Uh, Graham Allen he, he normally draws that character, but he drew Tom did this for the annual 1977. And also in this book, uh, you get... Um, characters that weren't published. I think this is from the comic Oh No, which was going to come out in 92. Um, 
but uh, sadly uh, dramatic things happen in the comic industry in that era and it, it changed um, to an, another company and they started to drop comics so it was a bit of a lots of um, artists uh, moved over to DC Thompson just like Tom Patterson did Philly. so you get these extra pages at the end of characters which would have been in Olo comic and there's another strange hill and he is brilliant at drawing horror uh, comic horror lots of squelchy characters and skulls and eyeballs and all kinds of weird stuff um, yeah um, and then also at the end it's got a little bit about Tom Patterson and actually Albert Barnes from the Dandy in the early 70s saw real potential in Tom Patterson but for some reason he went over to Fleetway before he joined DC Thompson later on yeah so this is the book there's Tom Patterson all tied up but what is nice is uh, Tom Patterson's had a not a new lease of life not only is he drawing for Viz comic which I uh, um, he's also um, going to be drawing for the new Monster Fund comic, uh, which is uh, brilliant news because uh, it, it makes you wonder why wasn't he drawing comics bef before that? But we'll leave that one. Uh, there's Jake Seven, <laughs> Jackpot. Uh, it's good news that he is finally going to be drawing for humor comics properly next year. The comic is going to be coming out every two months. Um, Monster Bun comic. And he'll be continuing Sweeney Toddler and some other new characters. Grimly Fiendish will be another one, which he did in the 70s uh, Shiver and Shake comic. Yeah. Um, as I say, with, with um, Tom Patterson. Every panel is bursting with extra details, and it's so worth having a look at each panel. Um, so, well, this is Watford Gap, and um, Roger Finton helps to write the the raps, <laughs> the poems, and they're very very good. And it's done in that Robert Crumb type style uh, yeah so in the late 80s it was really good um, stuff so it was a real shame in 92 the Fleetway stopped doing proper comics there was more reprints in but we, we got a new surgeons of Tom Patterson of course in the Vino and Debbie he's uh, he drew the banana bunch for a while uh, so I really hope DC Thompson will also um, do a book as well. There's, there's some brilliant Calamity James, uh, which and uh, Laughing Planet. Um, I'm trying to remember all the characters they did, Spotty Dick. <laughs> so I hope that DC Thompson will also do a collection. So then we got the Fleetway Tom has a collection, and maybe we'll get the DC Thompson collection. Yeah, he really was the Leo Baxendale of the. 70s and 80s and 90s. I really recommend this book and you can get it on Amazon Rebellion website. Uh, thank you. Okay, bye for now.